Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome Hi. back to another Nino Kuni. Um, just so you know, last time we left off, I was trying to fight that molten guy. I just defeated him after about three more times. Oh no, we smushed him. Easy, easy, easy. I forgot. I gotta do voices, don't I? Oh my gosh, it's been so long. There we go. That's some leveling up. So, um, the main little guy, he was only in level 11 when I was trying to fight him the first time. Spirit of the Flame. Beautiful. Oliver reached level 18. 15, 12, 14. Okay, okay. Yeah, we get it. We get it. We leveled up. That's awesome. <clears throat> you obtained a new page describing Multan. 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 <clears throat> the smoke has stopped. I think we fixed it. You did it, Oliver. You saved Al -Moon Man Moon. Yeah, but what about Shadar? Don't, <clears throat> don't go getting ahead of yourself, man. You're nowhere near ready to face him yet. Didn't you feel the power coming off of him? Terrifying it was. I was so worried he was going to steal a piece of my heart again, but you, um, but he just sort of left us alone, didn't he? Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. He was the one that was controlling the fiery guardian, and you can bet that the whole mess was thanks to him and all. You really think all of that was Shadar's work? Of course it was. Who else would have, uh, would have, would do some? Wow would do something so flippin' rotten. I reckon he had... I reckon we had got a lucky escape. I had no idea. Thank you so much for sealing the volcano back up, Oliver. But, but you didn't need to thank me, Esther. Of course I do. Without you, my hometown could have been destroyed. You have saved the people of Alma Moon. Wow, I cannot get that name down, can I? From disaster. But, Esther, you... You weren't exactly standing there on the sidelines, were you? Don't let old pure heart here take all the glory. I suppose I did help a little. Thank you. Well, shall we head back to Alma Moon? I, I want to tell my father all about our adventures. Sure, let's go tell him, tell him how brave you were. It's a, it's a little corny. You know, but that's okay. I like corniness. It's cool. Should we? I have a feeling. Okay. You know what? Let's go over here. We're going to save. And then I'm going to run around because I haven't done much running around in a while. And I want to go see if there's something to be done over there. Maybe, maybe a chest or two to be found. Save. 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 Do you want to save? Yes, done. By the way, this saves much faster than uh, a PlayStation 3 would. This is PlayStation 3, by the way. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Oh, okay, not going that way. It's just like, nope, you can't go over that itty bitty gap that you could possibly jump over and Mr. Drippy could actually just take a step and get over the top of. Not happening, Oliver. It's too dangerous, Ollie. Ollie boy! Ooh. Okay, it's not that deep. Can't walk over anything, though. I mean, there's the big rock that we threw down on it, right? I mean, there's some big gaps here. I'm not gonna lie. They, like, I think the lava might still be able to escape. Not to mention that the molten rock is, uh, you know, it's molten rock. You can probably seep out through the little cracks, I'm just saying. Okay, fine. Fine, there's nothing here. This was just a battle zone. I get it. Woo! Would you like to teleport? <clears throat> Travel back to the foot? Yes. That's kind of the bad thing, though. See, um, before I started this episode, I went back down the mountain, probably about halfway down the mountain, and just started slaughtering. I, I mean, I battled my way across everything. And I think that was part of the problem, was I wasn't 
battling enough things. So. Hmm. Good coffee break. Which way do we need to go? Do we need to go... Okay, that's up the mountain, so... We are heading down the mountain, but I want to go over here. What is, what is this? We'll battle you if you want. I'm just saying. We, we're much stronger than when we went up there, dude. We're under attack! Oh, oh, they have the upper hand. Run! Run away! Holly! Okay. Go get him, buddy. Oh! Cut loose. Cut loose on him. First thing. Mega hit. Oh, you're not doing that. So what? Oh, it's because you got a fire sword. And then they get out of fire. Got it. We won! That's good. Is the sound too loud? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Curse be gone. Yay. Oh, wait. I need to search. What did I find? I found a bane flower. Give over. Mon. Stop staring at me like that. Okay. Oh, hello. Yes, we will, we will battle you too. We will battle everyone on our way Let's back. Let's do it! We just defeated a big molten lava man. Cut loose is gonna be like my first thing that I do. It'll make the battles go faster. Less HP to start for everyone. Works for me. Nice spot. Oh, I do apologize for not posting a couple of these for a while. I'm going to try and record off at least five of them for the week and then uh, let them play throughout the week for you guys. So That'll be fun. For everyone that came here looking for Lumber Tycoon 2, I will still do those. I'm still playing. Oh, I caught him off guard! Oh! Uh, if this is your first episode that you've watched of uh, Nino Kuni, I highly recommend going back to the very beginning and watching the first episode. It'll explain so much. What? It is very much um, Kingdom Hearts meets, meets Pokemon with voices and voice acting. And you know what? Studio Ghibli is like one of the best animation studios ever. If you don't know who Studio Ghibli is, G G Ghibli Studio? Studio Ghibli? Um, go watch Ponyo. Should be on Disney Plus, maybe? That or it's exclusive to something. I don't know. Go, go watch one of the Ghiblis. My neighbor Toto or whatever his name is. The big fluffy panda dude. He's actually a troll. Is that that teardrop thing to heal? We, we did it! I think that's the first time I've seen the effect. It looks pretty cool. Ooh, got a sandwich. No, it's turkey. I love turkey sandwiches. A little bit of mustard, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of tomato, lettuce, maybe some onion. Let's go! Uh, get in there, Jason. Do your thing. Ooh, 55 with a water bomb. What? Nice, dude. We won! Jason's got some tactics. I love that you can see off into the distance, and it's not... It's not just a background flat image. It's not a 2D image a skybox, if you will. It's an actual thing. Jason, let's do you again. That was awesome, dude. 63. My goodness, you beast. It only takes four. Where were you in that big fight earlier? We did it! 
Where were you during Molten? Oh yeah, I didn't bring you out. My bad. I bet we could have defeated him real fast just doing water bombs all over the place. We got fluffy rice? Okay, that's that's very Japanese. Normally, like Americans, we only eat rice whenever we eat like Mexican food or we eat Chinese or Japanese food. You know, that's that's when we eat rice. I mean, you, you've got Uncle Ben's, which is stovetop kind of style, seven minute rice, stuff like that. Well, I, I guess rice is universal. Come on, you but guys! Fluff, fluffy rice? That's like steamed rice. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, oh my gosh. What was that, dude? We won! What did the pelican just shoot out? Sorry, not pelican. Uh, bird. <laughs> what is he? Let's get up behind him and surprise him. Come here, I'm gonna surprise you. Boom! I didn't get the surprise. No surprise attacks here. Here we go! Alright, let's go for Jason. Let's see that water bomb of yours, dude. How's it work on the banana? 42. Okay, not quite as not quite as good. Can we do uh do pebbles up? Only does 20 out of there. What are you doing? You can't. Easy! Easy! Goodness, we are just leveling up all over the place. Hold on. Hmm. A little bit more. Coffee. Whoa. What's the. Is that a shadow? Is there clouds? That's cool. Come here, skeleton. Ooh, we caught him by surprise. Let's do it! Alright, throw you out there first, and then you're just gonna cut loose. Go for it. Oh my gosh, that was that was so OP. Mm, can, we, can we pick up the skeletons? Can we charm the skeletons? I bet we could. I'm not gonna worry about it though. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. We gotta get back to Al Mamun. By the way, I watched the, the intro. Oh dude, that guy's straight up running away. He's like, no, don't fight me! Run away! Oh, he's gone, gone. You guys are too powerful. Oh, we caught him off guard again. Come on, you guys! <laughs> what is that little thing? All right, Jason. Oh, you can't do your water bomb. No. Get back. Oh, we did a counter and a kill. That was almost insta kill. Wow. I think one more and, and our little guy's going to uh, level up again. Now, which way is Alma? Uh, am I going the right? Oh, it's over there. Oh, okay. Okay, that guy's running away. Come here, you. Come here. Gotcha. We're just gonna go straight into it. Come on! Yep, attack, attack, Here attack. Go. Here goes. Nice. Nice. Nito. Here we go. He's gonna level up. He's gonna level up. I feel it. I feel it. Level 16. Nice. Wait, confection be gone? Oh, confusion be gone. <laughs> it looks like one of those little toy hammers that makes the squeak sound when you hit it. My goodness. Yeah, we'll, we'll fight you, Sun sun Dial. Sun, we'll fight Let's you, Sunshine. Here goes. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that was a that was a pretty powerful move on this part. We did it! I used up all my magic, didn't I? Oh, 
I'm gonna have to go and purchase something that will. Oh, coffee, coffee. That uh, that increases our our uh, magic powers. Alma Moon. We reached Alma Moon. Yay. Uh, Mr. Rashad. Rashad. You have returned. Does this mean you have completed the trials? Yes, sir. And Master Solomon taught us a whole bunch of neat stuff. I am happy for you. But this is no time for celebration. The city is in grave danger. The volcano is... Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Your, uh, sailing ship? We sorted that out too while we were at it. You... but... how? It was quite a story, Father. You see? <clears throat> so, not only did you succeed in completing the trials, you also prevented the volcano from erupting? That is quite a tale. It should seem... wait, it would seem that your potential is even greater than I had imagined. But, for Shadar himself to have appeared, it means his game has entered its next phase. I must look into this. Thank you, Mr. Rashad. Sir, <clears throat> you should, uh, we should get, we should get back to our journey. Do we have to, Ali boy? I'm flippin' ti tired. Tired? Man, can, uh, we, <clears throat> can't we stop by here for a bit and have a nice ban bana or two? There's no time, Mr. Drippy. The other towns could be in danger. Mr. Rashad, I need to learn more magic. I need more powerful spells. You have proven your ability. You've overcome the trials and saved the city. I have nothing more to teach you. You will learn more, Oliver, but you will learn much of it for yourself as, you journey the con as your journey continues. I will? Yet there is a limit to what can be learned without instruction. Very well. You must visit my fellow great sages, and you must learn what they have to teach you. He's right, Ali boy. Shadar is one tough cookie. You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to defeat him. But where can I find the other great sages? Alicia, she who once fought alongside me, fell foul of Shadar, and her soul was sealed away. But there are two more. They are out there somewhere. They're useful. Uh, there's useful. Somewhere, eh? Ta sage face fat lot of use you are. Dude, be nice! Mr. Drippy is just mean. I do not know their exact whereabouts, but I believe one of them resides in the city of Hamelin, on the continent of Ottomania? Ottomania. I bet that's like autumn, right? Like autumn? Hamelin, huh? Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. At Minium, that's far away to the east. <coughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong <laughs> rock accents. <laughs> you'll need to get a boat to get there. So you'll need to visit, uh, go via Castaway Cove. It's the closest port. To reach it, you must cross the desert south of here. Cross the, de uh, cross the desert to the south, huh? Is it far away? Don't worry, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Esther, you mean... Yes, I am coming with you. We will travel together from now on. But are you sure? Of course I am. We're fighting the same thing, aren't we? And you already know how helpful I've, uh, having me around can be. I bet I do. Oh, you bet I do. But, Mr. Rashad, is it alright if Esther comes with us? Hmm. I know my daughter. There is no stopping her when she set her mind on something I have little choice but to agree. Dude, wasn't she like almost in like in a coma state up until like a day ago? Okay, never mind. Whatever. Esther, you must make yourself useful to Oliver. You must not become a burden to him. Of course, I won't. Uh, I am a great sage's daughter. Hmm, truly you are. Then it is decided. Oliver, please take care of my daughter. I will, sir. Wait, did we just get married? Look after me, won't you, Oliver? 
<laughs> oh, that's great. I'm sure... Oh, I'm sure... Oh, and I'm sure you will too, Drippy. Welcome aboard. Oh, I'm an afterthought, is it? Uh, right -o. I can see how this is going to work out. Still, I suppose you do brighten up the place a bit. Go on, then. The more, the merrier, I suppose. Well, Father, I had better get going. Be going. Take care, daughter. May the ancestors watch over you. Thank you, Mr. Rashad. We'll come and visit real soon, I promise. Well, that was a turn of events, wasn't it? Thank goodness we defeated the, the Maltan dude. I gotta pause it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching this episode. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.